Okay, so in today's video, I'm going to create something within 10 minutes. I have a couple of photos that I can use. So let's see if I can do it. All right, so at this point, I have actually no idea what I'm going to do with this. So I downloaded just a bunch of images that probably could use for this. So let me check my timer here and let's just start editing. So let me quickly make a new file here and let's do portrait size 160 to 700 and just put it here and let's first start off with adding a background to this so let me first make this big here like that and I have a couple of these background images so I'm not sure which will be better to use so I have to check them all maybe this one I have also another one let's see also this one this one has some nice particles in the background so I think this one is better let's see and this one we can actually use to put some flames in front of him. So you see this big flame here that I can use. So let me quickly do this. So if I just make the black area black, I can just use it like here, maybe in the front. I have to blur this out later on. Let me duplicate it again. So I have one more, something like that. All right, let's see if I have some more images. We need some particles actually, maybe some more flying around him. So this is something I could do with brushes or just from images. Let's also add this one. Maybe this is cool. Some sort of rocket behind them. All right, now it's time to blend this this image. Why is it not moving? Now it's time to blend him. I will do that later. I don't know why it's stuck. It's time to blend this image. So I'm going to first do the colors here because he's super green now. And I have to make him a bit more like to red. So let me first drop the color a bit. And maybe if we select green here we can move it slightly to 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 less color here maybe let's try blues blues for his pants i think he's even more yellowish so let me try to move this yellow a bit to the left so you have a bit more of this red kind of orange tones this is a bit complicated with him he is like super green so let's do a lighting now I have to add some curves here to first make him dark. Let's make him really dark. And now I'm just gonna do some, some brushing here to create some light on the sides of him. So we have actually this explosion going on in the background. So it's a really big brush. So we have to make sure we get some reflections from that. Let first, let's first make these reflections like that. Some here some there and maybe some here especially here we have like this big explosion on the left side now and here also so these need to be a bit more lighter all right let's also do the color for this so i'm gonna create a new layer and just sample this color here and now i can brush this let me change this to overlay quickly and do some brushing here it's a bit too much now so i have to do the edges a bit better but first i want to make sure we have this color around him so let's also do this here here we can actually do it everywhere because we have all this fire going on now around him so but if we're gonna do it everywhere his color is not green anymore so that's a bit tricky now let me try it like this let's do the edges and let's create a new layer and fill this with 50 percent gray and here I can do some highlights now. Oh, clicking to face now. Overlay and select the dodge tool. And let's try to do some highlights. Let's see if we see some difference here. All right, you can see something is happening. Let's see. Dodge tool. And let's do it like this. Just a bit of these highlights here, there. So we get this edge a bit more highlighted than the original one. Maybe it's even too much, but all right, I'm gonna leave it like this. Actually, you have to do this a bit more carefully, but I wanna make this as fast as possible. So I'm gonna try to do it like this. Let's also do here, here, here feet is almost burning now there let's see like that then how does this look maybe a bit more here 
I just don't like the yellow part now in his face, so I have to fix that a bit. So I'm just gonna use a brush here to get rid of that. That's better. All right, let's also do some blending from the background here. We have this explosion now, so I wanna make sure we have a bit different color tones. So I'm gonna slightly remove this orange, make it less saturated like that. Let's also do these in the front here. Let's make them really big now first. Maybe that's too big, hold on. Just a bit bigger. I'm gonna do it like this. Then go to filter, blur. Let's add some Gaussian blur. And we can create some depth now. I think that was not enough Gaussian blur. Let's do some more like that. Just like that. And this one, let's leave that one like it is. All right, let me see here and this one here. I think this is fine. We need to put this in a different color because it is now really kind of orange and it needs to be less situated, a bit like that. Just like we did with the background, so I think this is fine. All right, let's blur out the background a bit. Or maybe not. Uh, I want to put this here and we already have something cool going on now. Maybe we don't even need to blur the background out. I need to have some particles now. So let me try to first just try it with the normal brush. I can use just bring the hardness up and just make little dots. Let's see. Oh. Just bring the hardness at 100%. And let's make little dots here. And instead of making like a million dots, let's just press Ctrl J to duplicate this and move this a bit around like that. Rotate it a bit so it doesn't look the same. All right, so we have all these little dots here. They actually look like stars now, but okay. I'm gonna move some here, Ctrl J. And now we have all these dots, I can copy these. Put this all into one layer and just duplicate it layer. And move them somewhere there. Maybe also here. And eventually maybe we can give him some motion blur to get some movement in it. So let's see. Just like that. You can barely see him, so I'm gonna duplicate this. Let's also put some on this side here. All right, now we can go to the next stage and there is camera raw filter here. And here I can do some final adjustments. Let's see, let's drop the contrast here. Let's increase this one. Let's also do that. I want to make this as quickly as possible, so I'm not going to explain all, all these little things here. So let me try this. Let's see. Let's leave all the, all the textures there. And now this one. Dead. Let's see, maybe, maybe some more oranges, so we get these colors popping. Okay, I think this is fine. Maybe also some vignette. And here I can change this orange. All right, I think this is fine. We press OK. And let's move this one there and this one here, just a bit. And some color balance. Now we can actually bring back that green that he had in the beginning. And that is pretty much it. And that's how quick you actually can create something cool in Photoshop, just 10 minutes in you're done with the whole design. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and see you on the next one.